اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا اہل الكتاب قد جاءكم رسولنا يبين لكم على فترة من الرسل ان تقولوا ما جاءنا من بشير ولا نذير فقد جاءكم بشير ونذير والله على كل شيء قدير او پیپل اف دی بک او جیوز اور کرسچنز اور میسنجر ہیز کم ٹو یو على فترة من الرسل افٹر ا پاز after an interval in the messenger hood for 600 long years there was no messenger of allah no prophet present on earth it is fatra awwalul fatra and after muhammad total fatra this institution of prophethood coming to an end in the person of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam So this was a preamble, a preface to the finishing of and completion of the institution of Nabuwa. Ya al kitab, padja kum rasuluna yubayyunu lakum ala fatrat min al rasul. He is making clear to, to you things after a gap, after an interval of the messengers. An taqulu ma jana min bashirin. Lest you should say. To us, there came no Bashir, no bearer of glad tidings, wala nazir, and no warner. Fakat jaakum Bashirum wa nazir. Now, a bearer of the glad tidings and a warner has come to you. Wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. And Allah is powerful, all powerful. He has power to do anything. Wa iskawun qala Musa li qawmihi. Now there is a very important incident of the history of Bani Israel. You know, after the exodus, Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu wa salam took all the twelve tribes. And they say, it is written in the book of exodus, in Bible, in the Old Testament, that they were 600,000 in number. Now they traveled in the Sinai Peninsula towards the southern tip of And there Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them Torah. Called Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu wa salam to Tur and gave him the Torah. Now from there they now went upwards to the north. Southward, eastward and upward. And when they reached the border of Palestine. Sinai Peninsula bordering Palestine. Now they were commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enter Palestine. and fight the people who were occupying that land when this commandment for fighting in the way of allah came they all refused we can't go to fight this is a very important incident of their history and due to that they were punished by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they will have to roam in this desert sinai desert for 40 long years after the completion of those 40 years when the whole of the generation which was born and raised in slavery in egypt they had all been finished along with hazrat musa and hazrat harun all died a new generation which was born in the desert which was used to the hardships they were tough in their characters then they made jihad and qital under the leadership of the first caliph of hazrat moses and his joshua yoshua ibn nun علیہ السلام تو that is the incident وَإِسْقَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ يَا قَوْمِ اسْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ What I feel is that these ayat must have been revealed before the battle of Badr because there was a mention by one of the companions of the Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم about this saying, this incident in the consultation which the Prophet had before the battle of Badr حضرت مقداد ابن الاسود رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ ریفر تو دس انسیڈنٹ دیٹ او مسجد رفع اللہ وی آر نوٹ لائک دی کمپینینز آف موزیس کو سیڈ فضا بنتا و ربو کا فقات لا انہا اونا قائدون وی آر دی کمپینینز آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یو جس ڈیسائیڈ وٹیور یو لائک اور میبی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ویل میک یو پلیزڈ ویڈ اس اور ایٹیچوڈ وڈ نوٹ بی دیٹ آف دی جیوز who were accompanying Hazrat Musa. 
وَإِسْقَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ And just remember and recall when Musa, when Moses said to his nation, يَا قَوْمِ اسْقُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ Oh my nation, remember the blessings of Allah upon you. Is جَعَلَ بِيكُمْ أَنْبِيَا When he raised from amongst you prophets. Before Hazrat Musa, Hazrat Yusuf a.s. was also a prophet. He was also from Mary Israel. He was the son of Jacob. And he made you kings. And he has given you what he has not given to any other nation of the world. Now this can be a prophecy also. That potentially Allah has given you. There will be big kings from amongst you. David is to come and Solomon is to come. It can be a prophecy. And maybe he is referring to the days. When you know Hazrat Yaqub with his whole tribe, he entered Egypt in the time when, you know, Hazrat Yusuf was occupying a very high position over there. They were very much honored by the kings at that time. The kings at that time were not his cause, they were not the pharaohs, they were the Hyksos kings. They were also alien from the Arabian desert who had come over there and captured Egypt in that, in, in that era. So they honored and respected these people who are coming from the same source. And they gave them big you know, land holdings. So a big feudal lord is also a sort of a king, small king. So maybe he is referring to that condition and maybe he is saying it as a, as a prophecy that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you already potentially that there will be a, so many prophets among you and there will be big kings among you. And Allah has given you what he has not given to anybody else. And that is certainly, and that is Torah. This book and Sharia was not given to any other nation before Hazrat Moses and Aisalat was salam. Ya Qawmid Khulul Ardal Muqaddasa. Oh my nation, now enter this holy land, Palestine, enter it. Allati katab Allahu lakum. Which Allah has already assigned to you. Allah has promised. Promised land, land of our promise. They call it even today, the promised land. And actually it was promised to them by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has assigned that to you. وَلَا تَرْتَدُّ عَلَىٰ عَذْبَارِكُمْ فَتَنْ قَلِبُوا خَاسَرِ Don't go back on your, or your backs, you know. Don't go, don't return. Don't reply in the negative, we are not going to fight and enter this, this land. فَتَنْ قَلِبُوا خَاسَرِ Then you will become, you know, the losers in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قَالَ يَا مُوسَىٰ إِنَّ فِيهَا قَوْمٌ جَبَّارِينَ the third home of this in this land are dwelling a nation very tyrant, very strong, big warriors. We are not going to enter there till they go out of it. If they go out of it, if they vacate the land for us, then we shall enter. Two persons who had the fear of Allah in their hearts and whom Allah had blessed. They were Joshua ibn Nun and Khalib ibn Yafanna. Two companions of Hazrat Musa They stood up. Oh, our people, take the courage. Just you enter. Enter this land. If you show this much courage, you enter the land, you will be, you will overpower them, you will be victorious, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised you this land. So actually only, the testing is to, to show courage, that's the only thing that is required out of you. And you should place all your faith and all your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in kuntu mu'minin, if you are really mu'min. Qalu ya Musa, they said it in the most decisive tone. Inna lannad khulaha abadan ba'da mufiha. We are never going to enter this land so long as they are there. Fazhab anta wa rabbuka. So go you and your Lord. Faqatila and make war upon them. Inna ha huna qaidu. We are sitting here. We are not going to make a move. Jami jumbad na jumbad gul Muhammad. We are sitting here. Now let me say something 
which you may call apology for the Bani Israel. Why did they say so? It is an apology from them. Why? Due to recurring miracles, they were used to it. If your your asa, you know, could make a way in the ocean or in the sea, why can't you go go with this asa? Drive them out. That is why there was no miracle with Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You have to work for it. You have to suffer for it. You have to take each step yourself. You have to go hungry. You might have to go thirsty. You will be persecuted. Allah will not hold back the hands of Abu Jahl or anybody else from persecuting you, so that you are not given to miracles. Work your way. That is very important. They had the miracles after miracles. They needed water, and one striking of this staff of Moses on the rock, and twelve, you know, springs gushing out. So they were used to it. They were given to it. They wanted a miracle. Fazabat tawra boka fakatila inna hauna kaidu. But I only wanted to make it clear. That is why. In the seerah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you will find no miracle of that type. The miracle is this Quran. It is the mojza of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Even Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was stoned, but no angels came and prevented. Why is it so? فَذَبَنْتَ وَرَبُّكَ فَقَاتِ لَا إِنَّا هَاوْنَا قَائِدٌ قَالَ رَبِّ إِنِّي لَا أَمْلِكُ إِلَّا نَفْسِ بَاقِي Moses said, Oh my Lord, I don't have any authority except on my own self and my brother Harun. فَفْرُقْ بَيْنَ نَا وَبَيْنَ الْخَوْمِ الْفَاسِقِينَ So now please separate us from these people who are transgressors. قَالَ فَإِنَّهَا مُحَرَّمَةٌ عَلَيْهِمْ it is not written here, but it is implied that the request of Moses was not granted. You have to remain with them. And he remained with them till the last. While he was so much annoyed by the attitude of his people that he wanted to go off from them, leave them. Fafruk bain an awa bain al common fasiti. No. Remain with them. But we will punish them. And what is the punishment? فَإِنَّهَا مُحَرَّمَةٌ عَلَيْهِمْ أَرْبَعِينَ سَنَةٌ Now this holy land, which we had already promised to them, it is forbidden for them for 40 long years. يَتِيهُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ They will have to wander in this land, in this Sinai Peninsula, in this desert. And as I told you, during these 40 years, the whole generation which was raised in, in slavery, and you know this gives a special mentality to the people. We can experience it of ourselves. We remained under the Britishers for 200 years or 100 years. So our mentalities were changed. Courage gone. We became defeatist in our mentality. Apologetic in our attitudes. Same was the condition of the Bani Israel. Due to a long period of slavery. Their courage was crushed. So that was now the new generation sprang. Fitrat ke makasit ki karta hai nigeh bani ya banda hai sehrai ya marde kohistani. In the sehrai, the desert, new generation sprung. And that generation made the jihad fi sabi billah. 